Chris from Polytech. And this video we are going to learn how to scroll down by section on our site using the Elementor page builder and the premium add-ons for Elementor plugin. First, we need to go over to the left bars. Where it says plugins, we are going to click on add new. And on the search bar, we are going to type premium elemental. This is the one we are going to use the premium add ons for elemental. This plugin will add some extra widgets, among them one which is called vertical scroll. This will allow us to scroll by sections on our side. So we are going to click on install now and then we are going to click on activate. Then we are going to team panel and click on my library. And we are going to click on add new. And here we are. Now it works mostly as a page creator. So we are going to add a title section one and where it says template on post attributes we are going to use element of full white and we are going to publish it and we are going to click on edit with elemental here we are now we are going to click on add new section plus symbol here and we are going to select a single row and on the layout we say stretch, a stretch section we are going to change that to yes and on the content width we are going to use the full width column gap we are going to use no gap and the height we are going to fit it to the screen and now we are going to move to the style tab we are going to add a background type classic and we are going to choose a blue color for it then we are going to the widget selector button and we are going to add a heading to it and we are going to type section 1 select an extra extra large size and we are going to align it on the center by going to the alignment and select the center one then we are going to style and for the text color we are going to choose white and on the typography we are going to leave the family the size as they are and we are going to add some weight 900 we are going to use a capitalized which is already so we are going to leave as default style normal and we are going to add an underline to it once all is done we are going to the save options and it's next to the update button this arrow pointing up and we are going to click on save as a template and we are going to give it a name section one and we are going to click on save once we have made all the changes we want to our section we are going to click on the update button to save those changes so we are going to the hamburger menu click on it and we are going to exit to the dashboard now we need to go to pages add new
I'm only fighting with a blood vertical scroll, which is the name of the wishes that will allow us to scroll between sections. Then on the contour layout, we will choose a full white and we are going to title and we are going to disable it. And then on the top right, we are going to publish the site by clicking publish and confirming it by clicking it once more. Now we are going to click on edit with Elementor on the top bar. Here we are now, we are going to add a new section, select a single row once more, and we are going to stretch the section, use a full white on the contour right, no gap between columns, and on the height we are going to fill it to screen once more. So we are going to the widget and we are going to type vertical and this is the one premium vertical scroll. We are going to click with the left mouse button, hold, drag and release. There it is. So on the content we can select a template for the content type or the ID for the section if we have it any. So we are going to modify it here because it's default for the height. Since here on the content section heights need to be set to default. So we are going to click on add an item. We have item one here. And for the template, we are going to select section one. And here we have the section we created previously. So we are going to add an item, a second item. And on the template, we are going to select the section to which I created previously for the safety of the speeding up the process. So we select it, select it, and we have section one and two. Then we are going to close the content and open the navigation tab. So we are going to enable the navigation menu and we are going to have it on the left corner it will show up here and we are going to add an item and we are going to type section one there we are and we are going to add a second item and we are going to type section 2 and on the position we are going to we are going to leave them on the left side so we can select the offset for the menu to the top 25 years it will work mostly like that I mean. so on the left we are going to choose 25 2 so it will move a little to the right so we are going to the dot horizontal position this one right here it can be on the right or on the left so we are going to leave them on the right side on the middle on the vertical position because it will be at the top or the bottom and we can select the shape lines or circles we are going to leave the circles here 
so we are going to add some text to the dots we are going to add section to one and we are going to separate them by a colon and type section two see we has the name for the sections we can add some animation if we want but we are going to leave that as it is and for the scroll setting we can select the speed of the scroll down we are going to use one second we can select a full section scroll and say to browser history and enable full section scroll on touch devices it comes disabled by default so we are going to the style and on the top tips we can select the color of the text we are going to use a white in typography we are going to leave it default and select the background for it so we are going to choose a black and we are going to give it some 50% opacity like the bar it doesn't need to be super precise nice as you can see so we are going to we can add some borders if we want and we can give it some values so it's more smooth and rounded like this and we can add box shadow margin and padding if we want so we are moving to the dots we can select the color of the dots we are black the active dot white as you can see here and for the border we don't have any so it's not needed and for the container background color we are going to choose a black and we are giving it a 50% opacity to there it is and we are going to give it a radius of 20 px and it looks good and smooth we can add some box shadow if we want to so on the navigation menu we can change the typography select the normal and active mode in the normal mode we are going to give it the white color to the text with the hover we are going to give it the cyan here and on the background we are going to use a black with a 50% opacity to here there it is we can add some box shadow border and we are going to give it a radius of 20px so it looks smoother here and we can add some margin and padding so we are going to click on the activate mode and for the text we are going to select a black for the hover we are going to select maybe a green and for the background we are going to choose cyan for contrast for so we will give it some contrast contrast to it and as you can see we select it and it goes through the section get the color of being selected like this or we can move it with the dots the dots or use the mouse wheel like this so once we have configured it on the way we want we are going to need to save those changes by clicking on apply 
And once we have made all the changes we want to our sections, we need to save those changes by clicking on the update button on the lower left. So that's it. We have created a vertical scroll for our site using the Elementor page builder and the premium add-ons for Elementor in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on their sites. See you the next time on Palatech.